What's up guys? Uh, my name is Manny. This is my vlog, Yano Live. And uh, I'm back in Ottawa. Give me two minutes, I got some stuff to do today and I will talk to you very briefly. I just got back from the gym. It took me a little longer than I was hoping to get around to it. I had to run a couple errands, but overall it's pretty good. So that's that's done, that's done. Let's have a little chat. That's what the point of today is. Let's us have a quick little chat about a couple of things that are important. Okay, so first time talking about anything related to med school in a while, and we're just gonna get right into it. We're not even gonna bother like coming up with any clever jokes. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a huge plus. A Buddhist walks into a hot dog stand and says, make me one with everything. Hey, I'm done. Yeah, that's enough of that. Oof, okay. Uh, the point of today is we're talking about how to pay for med school. And usually, like, whenever these questions come up, I just kind of leave them to the other med school vloggers. You know what I mean? I leave them to, like, White Coat Chronicles. I leave them to Jamie. I leave them to Jenny. I leave them to EJ. And I'm leaving a bunch of other people who just don't know that I exist. Today, I was like, hey, Let's give it a try, see what happens, and we'll talk about it. So, these are essentially my ways of paying for med school. So, if you like them, go ahead, run with them, uh, look into them, get in touch with your family, get in touch with the bank, whatever, and just run with it. Uh, so, the first way a lot of us pay for med school is just straight up loans. Bank loans, government loans, student loans, just some loan or another. I personally have a line of credit with the bank in Canada, and the way that works is that you give them the paper that says you got accepted into medical school, you're going to be a professional doctor, you're going to be essentially a small business, I'm going to give you a massive line of credit. Now, depending on where you go, that might be enough. Depending on where you go, that might not be enough. Uh, Scotiabank gives $200,000, RBC gives two hundred fifty, and CIBC gives $275,000. It typically gets broken up into four increments, uh, one increment for every year of med school, about sixty-seven to sixty-nine thousand dollars a year. Depending on where you go, that should be enough. Depending on where you go, that might not be enough. So keep that in mind. Uh, another major one: government loans. So I'm in Ontario. That means that my governing body is OSAP, and that's the Ontario Student Assistance Program. They give loans, they give bursaries, they give aid, and they give scholarships. So that means that if you are in Ontario, if you're coming out of Ontario, if you're a citizen of Ontario make sure you apply to them. Um, I know a lot of provinces in Canada have their own separate programs, so just go through whatever your governing body is. And if you're in the States, look to your state. I know that I'm, I'm sure that a lot of states give some sort of uh, funding, especially for medical students. Uh, the third one is a lot of people have, not a lot of people, some people have help from the parents. Now, if you're fortunate enough that your parents can pay for med school out of pocket, honestly, like just keep up a good relationship with your parents, do what they're gonna ask you to, and just have them pay for it. <laughs> Having your parents pay for med school is significantly better than having debt that's loaded with interest. By the time, like, you'll be a doctor, you should be able to pay them back if you, you know, do what you need to do and, like, put your, you know, put your ass to work. Uh, another major one, and this is one that I'm taking very, very seriously and personally, scholarships. Scholarships are, are, are free money, free money. Kind of tough to find, but you'd be surprised how many are actually out there. Definitely, definitely, definitely take the time to go out and look for scholarships. There are a bunch of websites that have uh, scholarship banks. One of my favorite ones is called uh, Yconic. Another one is Scholarships Canada. Both of these websites basically list of various, um, have various lists of scholarships that are available to students, undergrads, PhDs, doctorates, master students, med students, and they're really, really worth checking out. Some of them can be like massive scholarships. Others are a bunch of smaller ones you can throw together to make it worth your while. 
but the point is definitely like take some time to look through them and see what you can find and and and, and just go with that if you are not in med school yet and you're looking to go to med school start thinking about that when you do anything with your money you want to save as much money as you can right now for med school so be selfish whenever people ask you to do things be selfish whenever people ask you to spend money on them be selfish in the sense that you need to think about yourself and the fact that you have this massive goal that's coming up ahead of you and you need as much of the money that you have for that i don't mean be stingy but if you're putting money on MCAT books or whatever, sure. If you're putting money on like textbooks or like resources, dude, I'm not gonna judge you. If you're putting money on like brand new Jordans just because your boy has a pair, or if you're putting money on like excess Sephora just because like the newest Sephora line came out, I don't know when Sephora comes out with anything, then we may have a problem. So like don't be at the club turning up every weekend when you so what are you even celebrating, guy? What do you celebrate? So that's it. That's the major things. Those are the major ones that people use. Like I said, scholarships, loans, government aid, uh, parents. Keep a good relationship with your parents, please and thank you. And savings. Like save as much as you can. Like really, really, really aggressively save your money right now. One last really good tip for you guys. If you're not there yet and you're getting there, work on your credit score. Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax are three credit bodies that will tell you your credit score, and that's gonna be helpful for you in terms of trying to get a line of credit or a loan with a bank, especially if you're doing it within your country. Like if you're going to school within the country, you can get a line of credit without a co-signer, as long as your credit is on point, and you have the letter that says, I got accepted to med school. So keep that in mind. Got it? Say bomb. Last line of duty, guys, I have one last thing I need to talk to you about before I head out. I recently got in touch with a wonderful initiative. Their name is called Team Compendium. They're based out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, and they have an amazing, amazing initiative going on right now. These are, these are two students who've taken the medical curriculum and they've translated it into English and into Dutch and to various other languages, and they've just thrown all of it all together. And it's supposed to be something for students by students and it's just an amazing resource. Now, they're currently in a Kickstarter um, in a Kickstarter campaign which started on May 15th, runs up till June 15th, and now they're looking for backers. So what I'm gonna encourage you guys to do, go check out their site, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video, I will put a link in the description for you, go check out their site. It's an amazing set of textbooks, it's like four textbooks that literally combines all of the medical curriculum into one easy to use place for you as a student. It's for students, by students, absolutely critical to keep that in mind. Like sometimes, you know, you look at these textbooks and you're like, it's just your professor who's, I don't even know, like your professor who would try to be cool or come up with some hip thing, something. You have a professor who like plugs his textbook and we're just like, yo, enough guy. Definitely, 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 definitely go check out Team Compendium. Uh, they're all over social media. I'll put a link in the bottom. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you go check it out. Go and back them up. All you need to do, donate at least a dollar. If all of you guys donate a dollar, that's $7,988 going to that Kickstarter fund. Do I have anything else to tell you? I don't think I do. I hope that's at least helpful for you. As far as paying for med school, like I know it's kind of a it's kind of a burden, it's pretty big, but those there there are ways. There are ways. And 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 at the end of the day, genuinely it's worth it. It is definitely, definitely worth it. I'm gonna leave you on one last note. Two fish are sitting in a tank. One looks over at the other and says, hey, do you know how to drive this thing? Uh, so much love, make sure you, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe, and definitely tag whoever you wanna tag, and share this video, man. Like, yo, we're just doing a thing, we're just doing a thing. Uh, if I'm vlogging, it's gonna be a lot better than what it was during the school year. School year, I was tired, I don't even lie, I was tired in the school year, I was beat. I was, my editing in the school year was just kinda like, meh. It's getting better now, so keep an eye out. Don't you dare sleep on your boy. Do not sleep on your boy. That's a stolen line. Shout out to DJ Design. Shout out to DJ Design. It was a stolen line. Anyways, whatever. Peace! I'm addicted to break food. I can stop whenever I want. Oh. What's the difference between my ex and the Titanic? Oh, that's a bad one. No, 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 no. That's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> the Titanic only went down on a thousand people. <laughs> okay, I'm done.